If you are a new video editor or an expert who wants to move to DaVinci Resolve, this video is for you. What's going on guys? For those who are new here, my name is Ehsan. In this channel, I'm talking about photography and videography tips and also some gear reviews. So if you are interested in these areas, consider subscribing and also hit the bell to be notified when I upload new contents. So without further ado, let's jump into it. To start a new project, click on the new project, choose a name and then hit the create button. In DaVinci Resolve, we have seven different pages or workspaces, media, cut, edit, that is the main page for editing, fusion for visual effects, color for color grading, Fairlight, which is a complete integrated digital audio workstation, and Lever for exporting your project. Let's go to the edit page. The first thing you need to do is importing your clips, so make sure Media Pool is active, then make a right click and select Import Media. Select your files and hit the Open button. Most of the times, there will be a pop up to inform you there are differences between your file's resolution and frame rate and the timeline. Just click change to fix it. Also, there is another way to import your files, which you can just drag your files into the media pool panel to import them. You can sort your files in any order you want or change how they are gonna display in the media pool. I always start my edits by choosing the music, so drag the audio file to the timeline. Now you need to make some changes to the timeline itself. Click on this gear icon to open the project settings. You can change the timeline resolution, frame rate, video bitrate, or any other settings here. To match the cuts with the music, it is good to add some marks on the beats. So play the music and on every beat, hit M on the keyboard to place a mark on the timeline. This way your workflow will be much faster and your edit will follow the music more smoothly. To add your clips, you can preview them first and choose the part you want. So make a double click on them and play them on the preview window to find the part you want. To select the part, just hit on the mark in icon to choose the beginning of the part. Then go forwards and hit the mark out to select the endpoint. Drag the clip to the timeline and as you can see, we just have the part that we selected before. Simply drag the end line to make it shorter. The marks will help us to choose the best length for clips. For a constant playback, go to the playback menu, render cache and choose a smart. In this way, DaVinci Resolve will create a preview for playback and you will be able to edit more efficiently. Let's select our second clip and find the piece we want. This time, for adding the marking, hit the I on the keyboard. It's a shortcut for marking. Use O on the keyboard to select the mark out, then drag it into the timeline. To cut the unwanted part, Select the blade tool. With blade tool, you can cut any item on the timeline. So click on the clip. Select the selection tool. Like its name, selection tool is for selecting items on the timeline. Click on the unwanted part and hit the delete on the keyboard. Now select the third clip. Choose the starting point and drag it to the timeline. Let's make this line footage a bit shorter by adding some speed to a portion of it. First, cut it using the blade tool. Then select the selection tool again and make a right click on the second part. Select change clip speed and increase the speed to 1500. Go five frames forward and cut the clip again. Select the last part and reset the clip speed to 100. 
double click on the clip and move the mark out point to increase the length of the clip. Remove the unwanted parts and let's see what we've done until now. Select the next clip and find the starting frame. I think when the camera starts to go up is a good start, so hit the mark in icon and hit O for adding a mark out. Drag it to the timeline and let's change its speed to 150. For the next clip, do the same and drag it to the timeline. Make sure snapping icon is on. It will help you to snap the clips together quickly. Look what happens if a snapping was off. You can also select the gap between two clips and hit the delete on the keyboard. To move the cut between two clips, you can select trim edit mode or hit T on the keyboard. Select the line between two clips and move the line. It will remove some of the first clip and adds to the second one without any interruption. Select the selection tool again and remove the unwanted part. Choose the last clip and like others select the starting point and add it to the edit. Crop the last clip plus the audio. Drag this line to the top to make the video part a bit bigger. Now you can see these little dots at the end of each clip. Select the last one and drag it to the left to make a nice dim to black at the end of the clip. Do this for the audio as well and create a nice decrease line at the end of the audio. Do this again for the beginning of the clip too. In DaVinci Resolve, you have some nice transitions that you can simply use them on your edit. Go to the FX library and add something like cross dissolve from the video transitions in between two clips. You can use any of these transitions this way. It will help your edit in some situations. Ok, let's move to the color tab to make some color grading. I'll do some simple grading to this edit. You can see my color grading tutorial for more details on how to color grade your footage. I put its link in the description section and on the YouTube card on the screen now. After color grading, it's time for rendering, so go to the deliver page. In the render settings, you can change the export settings like format, resolution, frame rates, and quality. This number will show how much details will be rendered in any seconds of your project. So higher number, higher quality. We will cover the rendering in a complete tutorial, so be sure to check that video too. Let's leave it at the automatic now. There are lots of default profiles, like for YouTube. Choose the settings you want for rendering and choose a location and name for the final file Then hit the save button. Click on add to render queue and it will create a job in the render queue. To render the final clip, click on the start render. You can have multiple jobs here and DaVinci Resolve will render all of them one by one. Let's see the final result.
Thanks for watching. This video was about the basics of using DaVinci Resolve. So if you want more advanced tutorials, please subscribe by hitting the red button below. And also hit the bell to be notified for future videos. Press the like button and I'll catch you guys in the next video.